Hello and welcome to part three of my SEO tutorial. This tutorial is going to be concerning the relationship between meta tags and search engine optimization. So how important are these meta tags and which ones? If you don't know what meta tags are, what they are is there are these HTML tags that go within the head or the header of your uh, HTML documents. So uh, you know your whole website's description might actually literally go within your header file and then subsequent pages might have very specific uh, meta tags. So if you've never seen a meta tag, what I can do is sh I'm going to show you an example of meta tags on my website. Um, and really the only meta tag that's important these days, I mean there's a whole bunch of them, but basically um, in the old days people used to use the meta keywords tag and just slap in like a hundred keywords into there <laughs> and uh, argue about whether they should be space delimited or delimited or comma or whatever but nowadays um, Google has come right out and explicitly said that they don't even read the meta keywords so there is absolutely no point to them so don't even bother with meta keywords but uh, what is important is the meta description so what Google does with this meta description is they'll use that meta description whenever they deem it appropriate in the search results basically um, if they don't think they've got a better bit of text to use now at least in my experience I found this to be uh, a pretty common occurrence for them to use the meta description so I definitely do think it's in your best interest to use it because you can write exactly what you want it to say now keep in mind it's a description so you're not just gonna you don't want to like throw in a bunch of keywords here you want to actually describe your website and be really short usually uh, the, if, if the whole thing fits in underneath like the Google uh, search result it usually has a better uh, click-through rate but we can talk more about that kind of stuff later so what I'd like to do is show you guys the uh, meta tag so you can right click on any page view the source and you should be able to see immediately um, we've got a meta meta name equals description content and then here is basically the meta description here for my website so sentiment analysis and opinion mining just a couple quick things uh, right off the bat and then it just explains what sentiment analysis is so anyway as you can see it's very short and even this one doesn't fit into the whole description so keep that in mind I mean you'd really need to stop it probably like right here <laughs> to get it to fit but it, it can be beneficial to do that um, the other thing you'll notice is a lot, it's not a meta tag but it's a tag that goes in your header and that's the title of the page right here so you this one is just syntax but if I go to another page um, like free stock analysis or something the title of this page is free stock analysis right and so it goes there it'll be in the title tags as well free stock analysis and then you know for syntax but um, so that can be beneficial too and it is going to read um, those titles so it, it's important to use the title as a really really short description of, of what's in there but you definitely want to use them now just one quick uh, note to make is like Syntex is a WordPress website now a lot of people still kind of have um, sour taste in their mouth when it comes to WordPress I took a while to even get into WordPress as well I was never much of a blogger so I never really used it but pretty quickly WordPress kind of changed into an all-encompassing website machine so it's actually really useful to use and WordPress basically immediately does a lot of things automatically that are really good for search engine optimization so there's a lot of things you don't even have to worry about uh, when it comes to that but uh, things like meta tags aren't uh, or at least meta description isn't just inherently there but if you didn't notice it one of the things if you do have WordPress I highly suggest you get uh, this Yoast WordPress SEO plugin it's very good and it's very quick and it's super easy to do a lot of stuff just within here and it saves you a lot of time rather than like going in and editing the files yourself by hand so anyway if you do have WordPress that's that and that's still my case for WordPress I think it's a very useful uh, way to launch a website now that pretty much covers the meta tags well really just meta description and then you want to have a title of a page 
And the next thing I'd like to talk about is the URLs, not only what you're going to call your URLs, but also the structuring of your URL and so on. So that's what we're going to talk about in the next video. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support, your subscriptions, and until next time.